particularly in Los Angeles, uh, in the Bay Area. 10% of Hawaii, 10% of Washington, and I think almost 10% in, in Utah. There's other groups that live out in Missouri, and really you can bump into uh, Samoans almost anywhere. I was walking down the street in Cambridge, uh, Massachusetts, and uh, I saw a lady who looked Polynesian to me. And so she passed me and said, Talo. And <laughs> she thought she came into English. She said, what did you just say? And I said, uh, Talo. And she said, why did you say that? And I said, oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. I said, uh, I thought you might be Polynesian. This is a greeting of respect. And, and she had big tears come out of her face. And she spoke to me in some way. She said, I've lived here 27 years. I've never once heard my own language. Thank you. Please don't leave. keep talking. So wherever you go, if, you have, if you're lucky enough to have roots in the islands, that's never reach you. You we'll always have that link to uh, Samoa. Uh, one other little story I'll tell you is uh, I was a professor at BYU for a while, um, and President Rexley asked me to host the Prime Minister of Samoa. It was kind of a poor cabinet member. So I went on to the MTC and uh, said, hey, can we get a choir of missionaries to sing the national anthem of the Western Samoa? And they said, no, I can't do that. You can't leave the campus. <laughs> and I wanted to do this. And I thought, oh, I have this uh, lovely uh, teacher of mine who's teaching me Tongue, Richard. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll think of a second. Thank you. Anyway, he said, oh, no problem. We'll look at these missionaries over there. So we had the missionaries, we had a few ringers from the uh, Polynesian uh, dance troupe come. So the Prime Minister walks in, and, and this is important. This is what I'm about to say. So, I walk in early, and the U.S. flag is about a foot higher than the Western Samoa. And I grab the guy's hand, and said, why is this? He said, well, America is always more important. I said, wrong. He said, this is a head of state. It's equal to our president. Get a saw. When I found a saw, I sawed off that flag. So the two flags were equal in my mind. The prime minister of the cabinet came in under the president's age, and here's this choir. We started singing the uh, national anthem. Samoa, do you know the song? Uh, oh, yeah. And the Prime Minister, tears start coming down his cheeks. He started crying with Stan Minister. I was between the song and he said, Why are you weeping? And he said, no, no, no. He said, I've never heard my national anthem sung outside my mom. He said, tears. So these links between Samoan Americans and the Hong Kong here very deep. Samoan Americans, I'm sorry, my Tongan friends, they are the largest non Hawaiian Islander group in, 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 in the large silent group in the United States. And that group is growing very rapidly. I compared the 2000 uh, uh, census to 2010. In 10 years, the population of Samoan Americans grew 38%. Now, at some point, we can talk about this, Jay. Samoan Americans are going to realize this means this translates into political voice. Uh, Samoan Americans are at the point where they should be aborted. Okay? And we need to talk about that because you are the fastest uh, uh, growing immigrant group uh, from islands. Let's talk about history quickly because, again, I believe so strongly that the path of the future is rooted in the past. The earliest uh, radio carbon dates archaeologists have of pottery, and I've held some of this in my hand, um, from Samoa, it comes from the Muli Fanua Ferry Perth. Whenever we're waiting for the work, we always go down and look around the sand and find a few pottery shards. They date to about 650 BC. Um, it appears that Samoa and Tonga were settled about the same time, about 650 maybe 800 years before the Bible. It's not clear what the Tonga King put in the Bible. Take this off. Uh, but what is clear is that what happened in Tonga and what happened in Samoa was a real planning problem. For the botanists, I can see the plants in the Bible of Martin and the directors. In my opinion, one of the greatest agricultural achievements in the world. In fact, we had a scientist come up and use the 
it's okay. Excuse us, we need to go sail the rings around the world. So, <laughs> ah, Peruse. I want to talk in a moment about this. A uh, lot of Peruse uh, came from uh, France. Uh, they watered in Tutuila on the backside there uh, over at Asu. Um, and there was an altercation in which 11 sailors were killed, French sailors. And you can see in Apia, there's actually the French embassy is made uh, towards Willy Newton. There's a little uh, sort of plaque commemorating this massacre. And because of this death of the sailors, the word went out, whatever you do, and this is to navigators, do not go to sleep. These are ferocious folks, they're vicious. And so what happens, unlike Hawaii, unlike Tahiti, Samoa was avoided for 40 years, four decades. Okay. Now, I've got I've done a lot of research on this La Cruz thing. And one of the great joys to me was to go to that village and meet the chiefs of the Warriors. And I said, What's your understanding of what happened? They said, Oh, you know, this was back when Samoa was it was in the dark ages. Our people were savages. They didn't understand. I said, sorry. Let me tell you the real story. The real story is this. The Polynesians, the, the French went up to the beach to get water. And they wanted to restock their you know, barter for pigs, and taro, coconuts, OK? What sort of people, based on what I've told you about Buddha, would approach from a village foreigners walking up on the beach? Who welcomed me when I came here? A chief. You don't send the kids out. You send out the chiefs. And the chiefs are there. Now, mind you, these people have never seen Palanis before. And what happened is they saw a button on a French uniform. And Samoan went and pulled that button off. The French guy pulled his gun and shot him back. Now think about this cultural misunderstanding for a second. What do you think the chief thought that button was? 